What up, y'all? It's your boy, One Sir Grove, O-S-G-O-E, Republican, conservative, and fucking proud to be one. So, I just want to let y'all know, I've listened to all the exhausting news media that's come out that I always knew would be the case the whole entire time, and I have proof of that, just in case you want to know. You can go back and you can look at all my blog posts on my page, on Twitter, going back multiple years to the year 2016, and I called it 100%, 100 fucking percent to a T. Go and look at everything that I wrote on my Twitter page going back to the year 2016. I told you exactly what was going on with regard to the witch hunt that took place in America. By the way, this is a mobile podcast. If you're a fan and supporter of this show, man, I fucking appreciate you. So, point is... This was a no-brainer. This was this was fucking simple logic. It was very easy to infer and deduce. It wasn't fucking hard at all. The thing that had to take place was a bunch of pieces of shit had to spin their fucking wills for two years to game the system so that they could, A, vent. They had to vent. They had to talk as much shit as they could because they're sore losers from the most recent presidential election campaign. They're fucking sore losers. Hillary Clinton and her schemes and scams in the lineage of Barack Obama and vice versa. Those two motherfuckers are are dirty terrorists. Uh, Facilitators, conspirators, sympathizers, ISIS riser helpers. So that had to happen. They had to go on a tirade because they lost their grip uh, on power in America. So they had to they had to act like fucking children, little kids, toddlers, babies, infants, puerile, immature. They had to pretend like there was some big explosive sensational story in the media. So they had to spin their wills for two years and try to con everyone that they could into believing their false narrative. And of course, you've got the sheep, you know, the sheeple. The sheeple had to go along with it and just play along with it. And it's really sick and pathetic and it's disturbing. And it's what it is. I mean, you have these people that are all forlorn now because shucks, you know, Nancy fucking nanny state uh, Pelosi. She really believed that she would be vindicated by this whole process and all of the bullshit that the Justice Department attempted to do to help her and her fucking cronies like uh, Billary Clinton and the Obamites, and all these different stupid clans of these sore loser motherfuckers. Um, The people who have sought to undermine America, James Comey and Robert Mueller himself. So look, I support Donald Trump 100%. Let's, Let's help make America great again. MAGA, I'm for it. I'm a proponent thereof. I know that makes some people sick to their stomach. Hey man, I don't fucking apologize. That's my political opinion. I'm one Sir Grove. You have yours, I have mine. Point being is that uh, these uh, these folks that uh, are Republican conservative uh, who are smart and very advanced in their statecraft and uh, political thinking thinking uh, process, they uh, they raised a good point. Rush Limbaugh, for example. He brought up the point today on the news media, in the news media, on the radio, uh, more specifically. He said that that Robert Mueller should not be celebrated in any fucking way, shape, or form. Go back and look, and I agree with him wholeheartedly, 100%. Go back and look at my Twitter feed going back to the year 2006. And uh, what you'll see, what you'll see on my Twitter feed going back to 2016 I said that a long time ago. Now, did President Trump, our duly elected President Trump, did he actually mean what he said with regard to uh, Mueller, um, you know, being credited for doing a thorough investigation? I take it differently than some other people do. I took it as sarcasm because, first of all, it was an illegal fucking investigation. It was all doctored up. It was all based on a false premise. It was all false supposition that wasn't even supposed. It was contrived. 
as I've often and in, in, in long stated, it was manufactured, fabricated, apocryphal, fallacious. It was all artifice, deception, subterfuge. All of the synonyms thereof, thereto, therewith. It's all the same fucking thing. All one and the same shit. Just a bunch of shit. It was all fucking fake. So that leads me back. So, so again, so again, Robert Mueller's quote in quotation marks, his investigation was some Gestapo wannabe shit. It was some Nazi America wannabe shit. Okay? He had no constitutional goddamn authority to be running around like a bobbleheaded Robert Mueller doing any of the shit that he was doing. Fuck him, man. All that shit he was doing was illegal and unconstitutional. That was some Nazi America shit. And he fucking played along with it and he went along with it. Whereas uh, Larry O'Connor and others have pointed out today, man, what the fuck was he thinking? He could have stopped that shit from the very beginning if he were smart, claiming to be a Republican, (laughs) claiming to be a Republican. He should have fucking stopped himself and said, you know what? I see what it is that you social, you democratic socialist Marxists want me to do. I am not going to fucking play along with this shit because it is tantamount to, it is equivalent to treason. Absolute fucking treason. So these people like Rush Limbaugh, going back to what he said, they absolutely created a double standard for themselves in America. The law in their minds applies to them in a certain way that it doesn't apply to other folks. So they had this motherfucking Robert Mueller, which some people were hailing as a hero, running around America like a fucking German Nazi during Nazi Germany, and he was basically unimpeded doing whatever the fuck he wanted to do. Yeah, 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 he had authorities to report to. Not really, dude. I mean, not not exactly. He is just a fucking Nazi wannabe running around America doing exactly what fucking Nazi fascists do. Now, is he a member of the Nazi party? I don't fucking know. Let's say he's not. Let's say he's just like a fascist and that makes him a fascist. Let's say that he is a fascist. What kind of motherfucker runs around America, calls himself a special counsel or her a special counsel and uh, and just, just does unconstitutional and fucking investigations? Unconstitutional investigations unconstitutional investigations. Fuck Robert Mueller's goddamn fucking investigation. It was fraudulent, dude. It was based on a house of fucking cards of his own and their own. That is the democratic socialist Marxist fucking wannabe Gestapo, neo-Gestapo fucking fascist parties own house of cards. It was all made up, dude. Fuck them. So their whole thing was B- Okay, because that was A. Now moving to B. B, not only did they in the A of it all, not only did they have to vent and go off on their two-year-long tirade, B, as in Bravo, they had to distract the whole fucking goddamn world, at least in their failed attempt to do so. They had to distract, attemptedly, they had to attempt to distract and deflect the world's view away from that of their own of their own complicity in treason because they're involved in fucking treason they did uranium 1 with some russian outfit to take uranium export it from america to russia so that hillary clinton and her motherfucking piece of shit fucking campaign now look there's some there's some rejected fuck in the world, who's going to try to flag my video, my podcast, and say, your video, your podcast is unsuitable for children. You're unsuitable for fucking children. You're unsuitable for the United States government and for the fabric of American society if you're a wannabe motherfucking thought police Nazi going around trolling the internet, flagging videos that are political opinions, saying that they're unfit for 17-year-olds. Oh, it's cool if if 17-year-olds go and watch rated R fucking movies somehow, some way in your mind, in your fucking, in your mind where you attempt to undermine free speech. You want to try to categorize, classify, designate, code my podcast as some some type of material content that's unsuitable for 17-year-olds? Fuck you. You're a traitor to America in the American way. 
I have free speech rights. I have the right, guaranteed right, to free speech, freedom of expression. I'm speaking my mind, and everything that I'm saying is absolutely fucking kosher, true and fucking correct, to an absolute T. Every iota of everything that I have disseminated, conveyed, expressed, communicated, herewith. And in that, I've been correct the whole time that these fucking babblers, these these Babyloners, these motherfuckers that babble on and babble, these political pundits have gone back and forth, these political fucking hacks, these statists, these goddamn fucking treasonous vipers, as they've gone back and forth with their liberal, democratic, Marxist, socialist media, their left-wing, drive-by fucking media, as Mark Levin has, so Mark Levin has, Mark Levin has so expertly stated time and time again, correctly, these motherfuckers, man, with their, with their, with their attempt, their attempted coup, how fucking dare these motherfucking pieces of garbage, man, these people, they want to try to pull the wool over everyone's eyes and make it seem as if Donald Trump is some type of patsy, lackey, fall guy for the shit that they did. That's their whole spin. That's their spin. That's what the, that's what the left has done or attempted to do rather. That's what they have attempted to do with their left wing fucking Marxist, socialist, democratic, wannabe, fascist. Because that's exactly what they are. They're wannabe fascist. Only fascists behave the way that they behave. They are congruent to and identical to, congruent with, identical with, to, to and with, absolutely, mirror image, fascists, because they are goddamn fucking fascists. Now, again, their whole modus operandi is that they need to try to spin it and make it look like Guess who? That's right. Me, us, Donald Trump, conservatives, Republicans, the Republican Party, the GOP, the grand old party, conservatives, Republicans, Republican conservatives. We're the evil ones. We're the ones that are the far right and we're right wing and we're fascists, according to these people. We're not the ones that are trying to squelch free speech. No, because we've allowed as Americans for these motherfucking socialist Marxists, want to be fascists to go on and on, go on and on and on with their whole rigmarole that they've been doing forever, just going on, yeah, just day after day, they just keep going, just relentlessly, they're, they're fucking relentless in their pursuit to undermine America, you don't see me trying to stop their free speech, their freedom of expression, you don't see me trying to thwart their effort to stand up on their soapboxes, with the little bullhorns and shit, like that, uh, fucking goddamn, uh, what's that joke's name? Oh, yeah, uh, Al Sharpton, that fucking clown, yeah, I'm not, I'm not stopping the dude from making a fucking minstrel out of himself, I'm not stopping him from shucking and jiving, and, and, and making a clown out of himself, you don't see me stopping, um, uh, Lois Ferry Con, you don't see me fucking, uh, you know, thwarting the efforts of, of Lois Farrakhan. I mean, he spouts all of his motherfucking anti-Semitism, anti-Semitic rhetoric day in, fucking day out. Yeah, because he's a motherfucking punk-ass bitch talking shit about Israel day in, day out. He's still a bobbleheaded motherfucking bitch still running his motherfucking goddamn mouth. Yeah, because he has he has the freedom you know, to do so, he has the right to do so, he has the right to fucking talk shit about Israel, because that's America, oh, yeah, but you see, the thing is that these, uh, these motherfucking demoncrats, these wannabe Nazi fascist Gestapo wannabe types, in other words, the Democratic Socialist Marxist Party of America, these fucking morons, They have a double standard system where they want to flag videos and podcasts such as mine and say that my political beliefs are far too much outrageously over the top, overboard, and that in some way I'm extreme and that my material is not suited 
it's not suitable for for those who are 17, right? Yeah, but it's okay. It's okay for these adults to use profanity in their homes around their children, which we all know that they fucking do. It's okay for uh, these adults to watch these shows like whatever, Comedy Central, Dave Chappelle, you know, channels where people use profanity and whatnot, YouTube where people use profanity, rap fucking music where people use profanity, rock, rock groups where people use profanity, public spaces in society where people use profanity, you know, uncles that tell dirty jokes, profanity, all this kind of stuff. But when I do it and my politics are involved, in other words, when I support Donald Trump, then all of a sudden, then all of a sudden it's a double standard in America and somehow my video content, my my podcast audio content is flagged as unsuitable. How the fuck is my, how the fuck is my content more unsuitable than anybody else? Like George Carlin. Like George Carlin, like George Carlin, or whoever, Eddie fucking Murphy, Richard Pryor, anybody who's ever used fucking profanity. You ever see the movie The Jerk? Steve Martin? Yeah? Huh? You ever seen the movie uh, Blazing Saddles? Have you ever seen the movie, I don't know, what the, uh, what, what's the Django? You ever seen these movies? Quentin Tarantino, right? Those those movies are fucking fantastic. They're they're fabulous. It's okay, it's okay for parents to watch those those movies with their kids perfectly fucking suitable nc-17 rated r whatever you know kids in america can watch shit like that but if somebody supporting trump and using profanity and pointing out the fact that facebook wants to be the thought police of the now and the future just like george orwell's 1984 because facebook is a piece of shit motherfucking dick sucking piece of shit motherfucking dick sucking piece of shit, motherfucking, dick-sucking, bitch-made, chump-made, motherfucking, bitch-made, chump-made, dick-sucking, motherfucking, piece-of-shit-ass, Nazi-America-wannabe company, just like that piece-of-shit George Soros, yeah, because Zuckerberg is essentially George Soros now, they're one and the same, they operate along the same lines, they both want to fuck up America, they both want to do dastardly shit to fuck up America. They hate Republicans and conservatives. They want to shadow ban people. And they want to play dirty fucking tricks to fuck up the Republic by instituting a thought police regime where they thought control people. And anyone who's conservative Republican gets flagged and fucking shadow banned. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so somehow, some way, according to the thought police, that is, i.e., Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, and fucking his network, a thought police wannabes, yeah, yeah, Facebook, yeah, and, and the trolls that support motherfuckers like Mark Zuckerberg and his fucking wannabe fascist thought police machine, right, my videos and my podcast, they get flagged is somehow over-the-top unsuitable because of what? Because of what? Because of what? Oh, that's right. Because of Mark Zuckerberg's and Facebook's uh, and other motherfuckers like them because of their double standards in America. Yeah, because my videos are no more over-the-top, no more, uh, you know, over-the-top. No more over the top than any than any than anything else on YouTube. No, they're just my political views that happen to be interspersed and laden with profanity, just like anybody else who uses profanity. Pretty sure Mark Zuckerberg uses fucking profanity. Pretty sure George Soros does. Most adults do. I'd say like ninety nine percent of all adults on planet Earth do. Yeah. So so now these socialist democratic. Uh, socialist, democratic, Marxists. Now they want to go around the internet. They want to troll, troll the internet, as they have been, and uh, mischaracterize video and audio content, classify it, designate it as being unsuitable for those who are seventeen, becoming adults. You know why? Because they don't want for people to wake up. They don't want for people to acknowledge that what I've said is 100% fucking accurate, spot on, and true. That's right. 
Yeah, there's nothing wrong with what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the truth. It's absolutely the deeper fucking truth. Yeah, they're just afraid that people are going to share my ideas and my viewpoints and my views. They're just afraid that pe- they're just fearful that people are going to think like me and they're going to be aware, as am I, of the things that these socialist Marxist uh, demoncrats do. Yeah, that, that's, that's all. That, that's all it really is. And so in order to facilitate that, they have to go out of their way. These socialist Marxist uh, in, uh, infiltrators of America <clears throat> with their imported with their imported communist, neo-fascist, fascist wannabe, fascist <clears throat> doctrine. <clears throat> they have to go out of their way to try to get this, get this, destroy free speech on the internet by trolling the internet and flagging any content that goes against their belief system, goes against their ways, goes against their camp, goes against their tribe, goes against their clan, goes against everything that they espouse. They have to go out of their way to try to quelch free speech. Yeah, freedom of expression. It's part of the 45 It's part of the 45 stated goals of communism. 45 stated fucking goals of goddamn con- communism is what these operators do. It's what they do on a daily, nightly basis. They troll the internet. They look for anything that's conservative, anything that's Republican in nature, anything that supports Donald Trump, and they want to uh, send information to different moderators and uh, individuals who monitor the internet and say to them, hey, this, uh, this goes against terms of service. This is a violation of community standards. Listen to what this guy, listen to what this, this woman, listen to what this, this man and this woman, listen to what they're saying. They're saying things that are wrong. It's wrong. Listen to how they support Donald Trump. They're all, they, these people, they're fascist. And they're, they're right. They're alt-right. And these people, they're saying things that, that are bigoted and things that are racist. There is no bigotry. There is no, yeah, there is no uh, misogyny here. There, there isn't anything that is offensive in any kind of area of it. No, man. These are just fucking facts. As I said, this left that is really, as, as, as it is underscored here, that is really the communist, socialist, Marxist, Democratic Party of America that was imported to America from a foreign land. In other words, infiltrated America, has attempted to infiltrate America deeper and farther It wants to squelch, it wants to squelch the right, and in seeking to do so, it reports to its high command, just like Nazi Germany. Same fucking thing. So what does it do? Creates this false dossier from this former British spy, last name Steele, and the liberal left media In other words, socialist, communist, Marxist infiltrators of America. They take the dossier to what they think of as their high command. Robert motherfucking Mueller. Of course, his name is Mueller. Robert fucking Mueller. Who then, with the approval of people within his Nazi Germany America wannabe fucking circle, they approve a witch hunt in America. And of course, they go out of their way to claim that it's not a witch hunt. No, 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 it's not a witch hunt. Obviously, damage control, you know, because it's flap. And so there's this backlash from the right and from the conservative Republican side segment of America. So the media has to go on this disinformation campaign, proceed with the disinformation, misinformation campaign, because little kids watch the news, some of them, children, small children, young adults, teenagers. And so 
the left has to pretend, just in case anybody's observant, that everything that they're doing that it's doing is perfectly within the framework of the Constitution, and everything is legal, and this special counsel, special counselor, whatever the fuck they, the term is that they've made up, that's derived from Nazi fucking Germany, that's been imported into Nazi Germany, want to be America 2019, if they could have it their way. This motherfucking dude is supposed to be somehow legitimate, according to the liberal left media, which, again, is is just simply, quite simply, is merely, you, you guessed it. I, I've said it so many times in a row. It is the communist, neo-fascist wannabe, Marxist undercurrent that seeks to undermine America and the West. That's exactly what it is. These are motherfucking communists who are extreme communists, who are socialist, Marxist, democratic, socialist, Marxist, wannabe, fascist. Okay? The shit that they talk about, dude, is that they want to take taxpayer money and create all these different social programs for the better, greater good of society and humanity. Dude, what they really want to do is they want to make it so that you have to believe and think exactly what they want you to believe and think. That's what they're really trying and seeking to do. That is exactly their fucking plan. Because it is in line with, in sync with, in accordance with the 45 stated goals of communism. Google it. 45 goals of communism. 45 stated goals of communism. 45 fucking goals of communism. Boom, comes right up. Yeah, there's a framework for that. There's doctrine for that. There is a manifesto for that. That is exactly what the fuck they are. That is what they are part of. That is what they have been trying to do. They have been trying to they have been trying to tear down America the Republic. They have been trying to re-image it, rebuild it, recast it, rebroadcast it. They have been trying to modify it, alter it in some some way. Some way that is sick and deranged and and psychotic and and fucked up and unconstitutional and wrong and not in accordance with 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 the law of the land. Yeah, they want to make their own country. They want to make their own thing. And and you know what it looks like? It looks like Nazi Germany. That that that's exactly what it looks like. It is absolutely a mirror image of Nazi Germany. Because if you in their system are conservative, are Republican, then you are a fucked up person and you are not right in your mind and you need medication and you need to be hospitalized and you need to be medicated because Donald Trump is the Antichrist, George Bush is the Antichrist, the other George Bush is the Antichrist, anybody who's Republican conservative is the Antichrist and if you don't believe their motherfucking story, their narrative, then you're a sick fucking person who is not part of their society. You've gone against the grain, you've gone against their society, you've gone against their communist manifesto, and you need to be institutionalized. Yeah, look look at Twitter, look at Facebook, look at George, uh, or fucking um, uh, Zuckerberg, look at Mark Zuckerberg, look at George Soros. You have to think like them in their system. Yeah, because if not, they have extreme ways of trying to make you think like them. One of the things that they do is they flag you. They flag you and you get reported to different authorities within their nexus of snakes. Yeah, they alert people in their system and they say shadow ban this person. Shadow ban this person. This person has been flagged as having extreme views that are right wing, conservative, Republican in nature. That's exactly what the fuck they do. And then they lie through their teeth and they tell U.S. Congress that that is not what they do. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there are other networks that do it too. People at Google have done it. People at Twitter have done it. People at other companies have done it. Does that mean that, that, the, that the whole company is involved? No, but it means that people who are in charge of things at those companies are involved on some level. Many of them, not just some of them, but a lot of them. 
And that's why when you search certain search engines, guess what comes up? That's right. Information that is only or mostly, largely, chiefly favorable to guess whom? That's right. The left. The socialist, Marxist, Democratic, wannabe, Nazi, fucking Gestapo party of America. Just like Nazi fucking Germany. Now, is that extreme for me to share this information with the American Republic and the American people? This is my opinion. These are my views. Of course not. Because I'm simply disseminating this information that I've observed that I know to be factual, matter of fact, matter of absolute historic record and 100% absolutely motherfucking true. Albeit, the left, the socialist democratic Nazi wannabe motherfuckers in America. Oh, dude, everything that I'm saying is absolutely, according to them, totally extreme. And I'm an extremist, and I'm on the far right, and I'm a Donald Trump supporter. So you know what? That makes me fucking evil. I'm an evil fucking person. Yeah, I'm an evil person. And these people, these people who who make up these stories about Donald Trump, that he claiming that he's falsely claiming that he's a bigot and that he's a racist and that he's a racist and that he's a bigot and that he hates black people and that he's a racist and that he's a bigot and he's a bigot and that he's a racist and that he hates black people and this fucking story that these Nazis want fucking me to believe that these fascists want fucking me to believe my grandfather who fought in World War II who fought Nazis, who fought fascists, my white Caucasian grandfather, my biological grandfather, my white Caucasian biological white grandfather who fought Nazis, fascists that is, in World War II, who lost a leg fighting Nazis, fascists in World War II, and who was awarded a Purple Heart for his valor, for his sacrifice, he would immediately, automatically know that these motherfuckers of today are the same enemy of yesterday to a fucking absolute T. And he would recognize that and acknowledge that within a nanosecond of space time. Doesn't matter, man, how many years, decades have gone by. It's the same shit. It's all, it's all deception on their part. They want for you to be part of a hive mind, Borg-like entity from Star Trek. An evil, maniacal, nihilist, statist, Borg-like entity that's neurally linked. Anytime the narrative goes out on Twitter, they all follow it. Is, is, Is ridiculous and is ludicrous and is absolutely fucking asinine as it sounds. Oh yeah, George Bush is the Antichrist. Oh yeah, he totally is. It's right out of the Bible. It's totally biblical. Yeah, yeah, the book of Revelations, the book of Daniel, the book of Daniel, the book of Revelations. Yeah, George Bush is the Antichrist. Okay, now, now, now it's de- uh, the son. Now, the son is the Antichrist now. Yeah, now it's the son. Oh, okay, okay. Now, now, now it's, uh, now it's Donald Trump. He's, he's the Antichrist. Now, now it's Donald Trump. He's the Antichrist. And, and you have to believe that shit because it goes out on their networks and they all believe it. And they all proselytize it. They all promulgate it. It all gets tossed around. It all gets circulated. It all goes around and around and around in a fucking circle. It's just a wheel. It's just a circle like gerbils or, or hamsters running around in a fucking in a, on a treadmill. And that and that information gets pumped out to their to their acolytes, to their adherents, to their disciples, to their fucking minions. And and these these little serpentine serpents, they believe this shit. Because they're brainwashed. And they literally fucking believe that shit. Oh yeah, George Bush is the Antichrist. I could totally prove it. It's in the Bible, the book of Revelation. And then of course he's not. And then of course the dad's not. And then of course, that's right. Also, Donald Trump isn't. And it's just this shit that they that they perpetuate and self-perpetuate generation after generation. They keep passing the torch one, one to another. And it just goes on, man. It goes on. And then... These fucking pieces of shit, underminer wannabes of America, these people who seek to subvert America and undermine America with all of their pure fucking lunacy, they want to turn and point the finger, spin it all, because keep in mind, they're spinning their wheels. Their whole thing is a spin. 
They're, they want to spin and point their finger and spin it and say that Donald Trump is insane. Yeah. And they have all these, they have all these fucking stupid ass shrinks and all these fucking Jake, Jake ass motherfucking doctors and shit. These fucking psychologists and all these fucking, all these quacks, all these Sigmund Freud types. And they're like, yeah. You know, it's so alarming that we have a president who is borderline schizophrenic or whatever story, whatever, whatever thing they want to make up for the day. It's always some way that Donald Trump is being mischaracterized by these fucking, these asshole fucking communists, man. It's like, oh yeah, you know, and the thing, and and they, and they speak in such a lofty way with their pseudo intellectualism. Now keep in mind what's even, what's even more demented about it all. Is that these fucking, these, these superficial goons, these ghouls, these exaggerated fucking ventriloquist mummy dummies, what they do is they actually have some of them academic and scholarly backgrounds that they use for evil to broadcast nonsense. Yeah, and they sit around these round tables. Yeah, you know, the thing is, is you know, as a doctor, I'm deeply concerned about, about the mind the mindset and the mind state of our of our acting president. You know, to think that, you know, it's quite possible that he is indeed mentally ill. It's like fuck you, dude. Why don't you suck a motherfucking fat dick, dude? You're a piece of fucking trash, dude. You're a trashy fucking douchebag human fucking scum. You're a dirtbag fucking scum. Do you really, dude, keep Keep doing what you're doing, please. Keep keep destroying your fucking yourselves and your fucking your failing failed fledgling party of of communist operators. Your communist Marxist wannabe Nazi wannabe fascist wannabe Gestapo wannabe Nazi America fucking party operators, dude. You guys sound so stupid, but of course, of course. C is in Charlie, which brings me to C is in Charlie. That's what they have to do. They have to continue to run their rumor mill because propaganda is a big part of what they do. In fact, it's one of their pillars. It's one of their tenets. It's one of their tenets. It's one of their pillars. It's their platform. It's exactly what they do. They make up a bunch of fucking fake news, a bunch of fucking stories, they attack the mental state of the president, even though he's perfectly mentally sound. He's a rational operator who made billions of dollars. Of course, they're anti-capitalist. They're anti-capitalist. And they can't stand someone with as much money as he has because they know he can take away what little they already have. If they want to challenge him in court with their little attorneys, he's like, all right, you got what, five attorneys? I've got a thousand. You want to bring a thousand? I've got ten thousand. I'm a multi fucking billionaire, and we can we can do this, dude, forever, in infinitely, dude, indefinitely. You want for you want for this shit to go on, just fucking in in indefinitely, dude. We'll just keep going, dude, until I bankrupt you. I'll fucking bankrupt you, and then you'll end up with nothing in the end. Look at fucking Stormy Daniels, dude. Look at Avenatti. Look at all that shit they try to do, dude, in their smear campaign against the fucking president. And look what fucking happened to them, dude. Look what happened to J- look at what look what happened to the disgraced motherfuckers at the FBI. Dude, the mole operators, the people who tried to operate as moles and who were operating as moles within my government. Look how they got motherfucking smashed. Look how they were unearthed. Look how they were discovered and uncovered as moles. Moles. Working against the U.S. Constitution. Look at fucking Peter Stroke. Fucking Lisa Page. Look at all of them, dude. All of them, man. Look at Robert Mueller. In the end, Robert Mueller even knew he was in fucking too deep, man. He already knew that his his reputation was tarnished. He already knew that he was a victim of his own motherfucking party, dude. And what's so sick and twisted about it is that he went he he went along with it wittingly knowingly willfully he played along with it because he's part of the shit and he got sacrificed by them these motherfuckers talk about the illuminati and shit these motherfuckers are illuminati wannabes dude he got sacrificed by his own fucking demon party dude 
They fucking politically slaughtered him. You know why? Because they didn't have anything else to go on. They tried to fucking bury Kavanaugh, dude. Dude. They tried, man, they tried to assassinate Kavanaugh's character. One thing after another, they tried to do to take out the Republican conservative presidency party. And look what happened. And you know what? Go back and look at my Twitter feed for the past two years. I called every one of their motherfucking miss moves, dude. Every one to a T. Every one. These people on the news that wanted to talk about all this shit and their long-winded, grand, eloquent, loquacious speeches and analyses that go on as long as they do, I was to the point two years ago. I told you how that shit was going to play out two years ago. I told you, go back and look at my Twitter feed. Read everything that I fucking wrote for the past two years. I called it. I told you that, that Mueller would end up disgraced. I told you that. I told you that they would uncover zero, zilch, nothing, nada, Nathan, nothing, underscore, zero. You see? Because in the space-time sense of it all, it all amounted to fucking zero in the first place. Now, zero equals one because there isn't really any such thing as zero. Within that zero, there has to be one thing. And I'll tell you what that one thing is in that zero equation. It's one thing. It's a piece of shit, failed witch hunt is what the fuck it is. And I called it from the very beginning, beginning, every asset, every every aspect, every facet, every, every one of their political assets, that is operators, I called it all from the very fucking beginning, going back since they started their Witch hunt. Fuck all those motherfuckers. You and I both know every one of them needs to be indicted, prosecuted swiftly to the fullest maximum extent of the law. Going back to Barack Obama, terrorist, Hillary Clinton, terrorist facilitator, sympathizer, treasonous motherfucking operator right along with Obama, Robert Mueller, Nancy fucking Pelosi. We don't need a border wall. We're not going to give Donald Trump any money for his border. He's not the one that originally asked for it. It's our border patrol agents in America. You motherfucking traitor.